My name is Mike Shore. Uh, I'm from the U.S. Uh, portion of Dimension, Dimension North America Inc. And we're here at Form Next, finally back in person. So I'm super excited. It's my first time back in three years. Uh, it's great to have everyone here and have a huge turnout. So I'm right here in front of this uh, really cool application wall. Uh, this is a portraying different types of materials that are new and upcoming in the industry. This is all based around our power fuse capabilities. So these are materials between different elastomerics and specialty materials like our Ultem material right here. But this is showcasing our capabilities in the power fuse. So how do we smooth parts? Uh, how do we enable new applications to really come to life and to market? And then how do we actually adjust that level of smoothness in between a light, balanced, and strong for the application in mind? Different types of materials that we can smooth uh, from your standard polyamides, of course, but this wall in particular is showcasing different types of elastomers. So uh, we have from the SLS technologies and the MJF technologies across the board, pretty much the entire realm of different materials from your standard uh, TP300s to the PVAXs and even the other from Lubrizols and BSFs from the MJF side. So we see a lot of different types of lattice structures now uh, all throughout this area, on different social media platforms. And what's really unique about it is that this is really breaking traditional manufacturing. These are not capable of being produced in any other method except for 3D printing. But the downside is out of the printer, they're not very useful. They're very porous, they pick up a lot of dirt, a lot of moisture. So in order to be, make them become end-use parts, uh, we ended up turning them and creating the smoothing application so we can now smooth those parts to enable them for whether it be mechanical properties, uh, weather resistance, water, UV, anything like that, to actually put them into market, put them into real-life applications, and turn them into something usable.